This is a MOF model, and MOFs can be used to capture, for example, pharmaceuticals from wastewater or carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. What makes MOFs special is the seemingly infinite possibilities of how to design them. So a MOF is made by combining metal ions and organic molecules, just like combining Lego bricks, to create these porous structures. There's so many different metals from the periodic table to choose from, and almost an infinite number of organic molecules we can choose to combine to form these porous materials. So at Stockholm University we have been developing MOFs for about 20 years, both synthesizing new MOFs, uh, studying their atomic structures, developing them for different applications. We had a PhD student, Erik. Uh, he started using polyphenols to make MOFs. So these are molecules we can extract from plants that we eat every day. And he found out that uh, we can make MOFs that are highly stable and uh, have high performance in capturing pollutants, such as pharmaceuticals from wastewater. I think now we are seeing really the onset of MOFs uh, being applied to solve different challenges in society. Capturing CO2 from the atmosphere or uh, cleaning wastewater from pollutants. So the Nobel Prize in Chemistry really marks a milestone in the development of the field of MOFs. Uh, this really shows that the field of MOFs is not just of interest for academics, but it's also uh, MOF technology is starting to be used in companies for uh, large-scale applications.